Job seekers, beware. Threat actors are taking advantage of job uncertainty by masquerading as recruiters with attractive job offers to lure unsuspecting victims to download malware and or share personal information. Remember, if the treat sounds too good, it's likely a trick. AI has made phishing even harder to spot. So on top of your typical phishing safety measures, here are a couple of tips to hopefully keep the trickery to a minimum. Avoid the digital secondary location. If a recruiter sends a text message from one number and asks you to message a different number on a different platform, such as WhatsApp or Telegram, it's likely illegitimate. Delete it, block them, and report them. Secondly, when in doubt, ask. A real recruiter would be happy to answer clarifying questions, but an attacker will be much more urgent in nature. For example, ask what platform the interviews are going to be held at so you can download the software beforehand. If they push you to download something directly from them, especially something like TeamViewer or AnyDesk, it's likely illegitimate. Again, delete it, block it, and move on. You wanna know how you can stay safer online this holiday season? Take a deep breath and have a big mug of cocoa. Check out charities, offers, and ads. Attackers have various ways of emotionally manipulating people into falling for their scams, especially around the holidays. Urgency can lead to fear, and fear can lead to rash decision-making, such as clicking on a malicious link you wouldn't otherwise. Take a deep breath. For example, if you get a text saying that your package can't be delivered, don't click the link. Go directly to the courier's site and check status from there. Don't trust the text. The giving season for us is the taking season for attackers. Do your homework on a charity before donating. You want to ensure that you're actually supporting the cause you want to and not getting scammed. These scams work because they mimic legitimate practices that we're all accustomed to, like special holiday promotions. This includes physical snail mail advertisements. Not all phishing threats are cyber. Avoid QR codes and double check the URL that they are trying to send you to on the ad. Does it match who they're purporting to be associated with? You can never be too careful. When in doubt, do a web search. Malicious web ads are becoming increasingly popular. If you see an item or service that you have an interest in purchasing, open up a new tab and search for it rather than clicking the link. Who knows, you might even get a better deal. Did you know you could be living with zombies and not even know it? Well, a zombie network, that is. Also known as a botnet, a group of devices that have been hijacked to do bad stuff without you knowing about it such as something we call a distributed denial of service attack, or DDoS. This is where a bunch of devices, or zombies, all come together simultaneously to do the bidding of a threat actor. And if you're not careful, your TV can be one of those digital undead. Botnets are created by spreading malware, and there are a bunch of ways that malware can make its way onto your device. Some examples are unknowingly downloading malicious apps, phishing, even pop-up windows can contain malware. And what's really scary about this is not all of it needs a human's interaction to download. In order for your device to be smart, it has to connect to the internet. This allows it to communicate with other devices and services that a dumb machine wouldn't be able to do. In order to do this, the device goes through a process called authorization. Authorization is just what a device can do and access and what it can't or shouldn't do and access. A username and password combination is used to authenticate, and then the device functions based on what authorization says it can do. Attackers know many of these devices are shipped with default credentials, username and password both admin, and they also know that they're often left unchanged because the person may not even know that their device has credentials to begin with. Here's how this can work. Let's say an attacker knows that a specific TV model is susceptible to a known vulnerability. They can scan the web for that vulnerability and target the devices with the malware. The malware can then enter its credentials and authenticate. Bingo, bango, you've got malware. Once this happens, all kinds of big bad stuff can happen. It can spread itself to other devices, it could crypto jack, or it could even become part of a botnet. All of this without you knowing it. These threats can stay dormant for years. They only wake up whenever the attacker controlled remote tells them to. 
So in order to stay safe, here are a couple of things that you can do right now to try and keep yourself out of one of these undead digital armies. Check your internet connected devices for credentials. If they are admin, change them to something strong that you will remember, but wouldn't be super obvious to an attacker. Keep your firmware updated across all devices. In fact, turning on automatic updates is a really great way to ensure that your device stays up to date without you thinking about it. Lastly, reboot your routers often and exercise caution when you're downloading stuff. That's the best way to stay protected is just being vigilant. You know a place it's actually cool to be? Basic security control. The basics in security actually matter a lot. And one of the examples of this is multi-factor authentication or MFA. MFA effectively doesn't trust the username and password combination. It takes an additional step to make sure it's you putting in that username and password combination. This can be done via email, text, or can coincide with an authentication app of your choosing. Type in your username and password, get the code somewhere else, type it in, you're off to the races, and we know it's you. Check your critical accounts such as banking or healthcare for options to enable MFA. It might also be listed as 2FA. Choose the option that works best for you, and there you go. Now, if you ever received communication with a code that you did not initiate, report it immediately and never, ever share that code with anyone, no matter how trusted they may seem. Trust me, this minor inconvenience is well worth not losing account access. Happy Cyber Awareness Month and stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there.